Hey guys, before we kick today's video off, I'd like to say if you like today's video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. We are well on the road to 1,000 subscribers. I know we can do it. That's our first goal, so let's get there. Um, if you hit the like button, let's the YouTube algorithm know that you like my videos and suggest them to other people. Um, like I said, we're going more family friendly with no cussing. Um, it brought my attention in the comments. <laughs> I'm gonna say that next few videos so the people that haven't seen the other videos know. Um, right now I'm mixing some chemicals up and we're gonna get spraying. Well, dad might be, he went down to the neighbors that we're farming half and half with. And um, I'm gonna get the rock picker hooked up once I get done mixing. Well, there's no way I'm gonna be able to move, maneuver that loader through this door. It looks a lot bigger than it is, but uh, to get hooked up to that. So, that's when we go and find the skid steer. Aha. Uh -huh. Definitely one of our better investments. Well, the hydraulic tips are different on the rock picker and 2840. They don't match up. 20's got the older style. So I think we might be able to put on the 4440. Right now, I don't know. I'm gonna, we gotta get the disc moving so we can get the beans going in the ground. So dad's out spraying. Well, Doran got here. He was out cutting limbs with a pole saw this morning on one of the farms. Um, 8300's feeling up. I got Windex and some wash windows. He's gonna take off with it. Off to the races. Well, Doran's out discing. I just grabbed the seed tender. Uh, when well, we're down here at the farthest from way, one of our seed dealers or fertilizer dealers sells seed as uh, dad's going to grab another pallet of corn. So, I'm gonna help dad get the corn planter loaded up with corn, and then he gave me some tips or adapters to hook up that rock picker to the 2840. Don't worry, old girl, we'll get you fixed. Needs a new clutch on the AC. Rock picker's hooked up, see if it works. So my problem is there's two remotes on this tractor and it takes three to run the rock picker. So, and this is the folding thing that unfolds it, I think, because it pivots out this way. Um, I don't know, maybe we can run it in just transport mode because I don't really care. We'll see. Dad's taking off the corn planter right now. Doran's out biscuit still. I'm in the farm where Doran's at. We got beans that we don't want to plant right now that are in the drill. So we gotta wait till Doran goes to another farm so we can go plant those. It's just, you know, a great kind of day. Today's going, it's a slow day. That's all I can say. Well, after taking a hydraulic oil bath, we got the rock picker working as should. Like I said, there's three remotes on it and only two on the tractor. So it's the pain you have to unplug them out the plane. We haven't ran that rock picker in three years. We've owned it quite a while, but it's like brand new. We don't usually use it that much unless we need to. Dorn's over disc in a farm that has a lot of rocks in it. Put Rocky inside. Tell you what, these radios are key, key out of farm. Can't believe we've been running without them. Let's get this rig on the road. Get something done today. What we gotta do is unfold it. Now we switch the folding one to the one that runs the reel. So I already got the up and down one. The old 8300 plays with it. 8650's got more guts, but we ain't running with no AC. Tell you what, it has not been my day. I'm good, I'm gonna start it up. I'll give you a thumbs up. I think we're gonna avoid that little area. You know, it probably would have been a smart 
better idea to put the 4440 on that. I would have AC and I probably wouldn't have been stuck. So once you get done rock picking, just go to a spot where you want to dump. Dump your rocks. Dorn moved on to a, another farm. We're gonna put really early beans on the two farms. This farm he just did and the farm he's going to. Then he's gonna move to a farm mile, come out north of us, 70-ish acres. And um, I'm gonna go empty out the drill there. Uh, so uh, then I can load up the early beans and put them on the two farms he's disking, or the one he just disked and the one he's disking now. Hopefully that, that made sense. Made sense to me. I think we are out of hydraulic oil. That grapple the other day had a leak on it, and I think it, I don't know. I can't even, the loader don't wanna lift up, so. Dang it. Oh boy. Tell you what, today has been one of those days. Out of hydraulic oil, it was full yesterday, so. The only thing we used this on was that grapple. So that grapple had to have had a leak. That is why you check your oil every day. And usually I do, but you know, we we're kind of in a rush today and you know, got rain coming. Oh, got stuck, getting nothing done. I think today has been a day since about noon. It's two o'clock. Still waiting. About 20 minutes into the wait. Guess we can appreciate the thunder showers that missed us. Well, I'm waiting for more ground to go, or for more ground to get fed up to go plant. I was gonna fly the drone, dad is down the road, but it looks like he's pulling in. Looking like he needs the rock picker out of the way to load up with seed. Okay. Got them loaded up with seed. I threw some air in the tires, cause why not? Those two center ones right there were a little low. He was just gonna send it, but then we would have more trouble down the road. We ought to figure out how that works today. He's gonna load up with fertilizer right now. Still hasn't got his pop-up fertilizer system working. We're just giving her. Okay. Oh, this is sticky. All right, now we're gonna go see where Dorn's disc at now. We're gonna go see how the field's fitting up and see if I can go drill it, I should be able to. Um, he's already got two farms worked up that I can go drill now, but we don't have the early beans on the drill. We have about half a tank of, I think, two ones or two fours in the drill. And we wanna plant some one ones. We plant quite a bit of one ones because you know, harvest them about September and they average about 60 bushels the acre the last few years, so it's worth planting them. Traffic jam. Well, I think the ground's working up really good over here. Orange just giving her, there's 73 acres over here between this field and that field. There's like 160 on this whole farm because there's some across the ditch. I'm gonna get the drone up in the air. Got back, did some droning, filmed the corn planter, filmed the disc. We're taking off with the drill. Get nice cold Mountain Dew.
When I went out to do the markers or switch it to markers, I forgot to undo these. He's still giving her hell. Just out here doing some BTO things. What's really good is the rain chances for this afternoon and tonight went away and for tomorrow too, so we're just sending her. Storm's missing us, heading north, but uh, I'm gonna hop out and see how many beans we got. So I'm not gonna be able to finish this 30 acre field up in the front, there's 73 acres here total, but I won't be able to finish it. Um, I'm just gonna, once I empty out, I'm gonna go get the one one beans and then go plant the two farms we dissed earlier and then uh once i get those done <laughs> we'll probably have a late night but um once i get those done i'll come back here and uh finish this farm up and i'm gonna move this marker i'm using my markers that gps and there sucks those atus i hate them i absolutely hate them though we got a green star uh 6000 8330 it's uh but you don't need ATU, uh, 8330 is new enough, you don't need one, so. And that actually works good, especially with the 6000. These ATUs, they just don't not steer straight, I, I don't know. But I also gotta adjust this marker because it's not throwing enough dirt. The other one's throwing way too much, but whatever. This one's not throwing enough, so it's hard to see. Kinda hard to tell on camera, but see how this side's lower than that side? It's really hard to tell on camera, but this side's gonna empty out first, and then we're gonna run on this side of the drill first, so I'm gonna try to level off this drill here. Usually these out, the outside meters run out first. I'm gonna pivot this, this, this way. I've noticed anything about YouTube and it's these getting these good camera angles and like not being boring is really hard. See, I get props to all the big guys, Bolingo Farmer, Larson Farms, all of them. They're they're putting in the effort. I mean, it's, it's harder than it looks to be entertaining, get good camera angles, and just switch it up instead of just talking and talking like I like to do. Eh, we're gonna try that. We're gonna try it. I got the wrenches I need now. Carriage bolts. Well, no, they're not. Up there, carry both of them. So I brought two wrenches because you know I've been screwed enough times today to know to repair. I even checked the oil on this tractor before I took off with it. <laughs> Well, they switched the forecast to sun, but um, that doesn't look like sun. Well, pouring now. I suppose we could use a little raining and I heard if we get, don't get that much, but I like how they switched it to sunny. Yeah. Over on Betty's, I got about the front field just past that big tree, Don. He's working on the backside. We just got rained out. Really? I wonder if it's going to be big because I'm on a picture train. It ain't rain yet. It's downpouring. Yeah, shit, I don't think it show up on my radar. I wonder if it's going to, I see it flying that way. No, it doesn't show up on our radar either. It says it's supposed to be sunny right now. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I should keep straight or not. Well, you're already balls deep, so. Uh, it's coming down hard. Dorn, Dorn's on his way up. Boy, I don't really want to take off with it. We're gonna be flinging mud everywhere, but you know, God, it's just coming down. It's supposed to be sunny. The forecast literally says sun right now. It is coming down hard and harder than heck. I don't. Know. Hey, 
suppose I could go check and then <laughs> can't say we've been completely rained out. About a mile down the road here, roads are dry, fields are dry. Literally like a pop-up shower that went right over our field right there. Oh, it's crazy. Mike spr spraying a couple miles down the road. Four class says sun. I don't know. Dad's all playing still. Stupid pop-up shower. And it came down hard and quick. I mean, road mile that way, block that way is just full of water and this one's dry. Crazy. Well, we got this, uh, got home. Doran's out disking again. We never got rain here at the home farm, just a mile north of here, the farm me and Doran were at, but he's at a different farm disking. We're gonna get the sprayer loaded up and then I'm gonna go drill. trying to do with that other farm is run this one variety out of the drill we came really close but we got rained out so Darren's now disking on the home farm way on the back um, and he's got part of it done and I'm gonna go run the beans out of this and we're gonna go put those early beans in those two fields we did earlier today where I got the tractor stock is where we're gonna put the early beans